Hi, welcome to the video Reset MySQL Root Password on Windows with me, Nam Hamingat, code Java.net. In this video, I'd like to show you the proven steps to reset MySQL Root Password on Windows operating system. Note that resetting the root password of the MySQL server is the last resort if you forgot the root password and can't remember it. And you need to use uh, old password uh, in order to reset MySQL root password. And the steps uh, which I will show you shortly are tested and worked with local MySQL server instance on Windows. And it is easy to follow. And here are the steps. Firstly, you need to stop the MySQL server instance in Windows service application. And then create a text file to reset password of the root user with this content on the user root and local host identified by the new password and then start MySQL server in command line with the init file parameter and test connect with the new password and finally delete the text file I'm trying to connect to uh, MySQL server on my uh, Windows computer but I forgot the password of the root user so I cannot connect you see. Okay, so the first steps to reset MySQL root password is to stop the MySQL server instance. So press the start button and type service and click the batch mask services app here. This application allows users to manage uh, uh, services running on Windows computer and look for the service named MySQL. You can type press the letter M to quickly go to the service name start starts with the letter M. This is a MySQL server service on my Windows computer. The status is running and to stop it right click and click stop. Okay and it status uh, is nothing now. You can check right click properties and service status is stopped. You see. Now, if I try to connect here, I will got error. Okay. You see, no connection established because the server is not running status stopped here and next we need to create a text file so press the start button and open the notepad text editor a simple text editor on windows and type a query that will update the password of the root mysql root user on the user root and local host identified by new password for example num1234 you know that it must have a semicolon at the end here and save the file I save the file in driver D driver E with the name is mysql-init.txt ok click save and the next step is uh, start MySQL server in command prompt. So press the start button and type CMD. Know that we must run the command prompt under administrator privilege. So right click and click run as administrator. And you can see administrator command prompt here. And back to the services window, right click on the MySQL service name, click properties. Then you can see the path to executable so uh, copy this path copy okay and paste into the command prompt here paste okay this is a command that is used to start mysql server and we delete the mysql server service name then we specify the init file like this to dash is init dash file equal location of the text file is on e drive mysql dash init dot 
dxd it enter and you can see it runs uh, for a while and it uh, might not uh, exist might not return no problem don't worry just press the ctrl c to terminate okay now in the service c window here right click on the service name and click start here okay the status of the service is running now okay now back to uh, now let me open my SQL workbench and try to connect with a new password here let me uh, copy the new password here now one two three four okay paste and click okay okay i have connected successfully to my SQL server with the new password that means i have successfully reset my sql root password on my windows computer it works perfectly as you have seen so far right and finally remember to delete the text file here let me open windows explorer and delete the text file after successfully resetting my sql root password delete okay and that's my guide about how to reset MySQL root password on Windows. Note that the author user query must end with a semicolon and open a new command prompt window as administrator. And when starting the MySQL server in command prompt, it seems running forever. Don't worry, just wait a few seconds and press Ctrl C to terminate. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.